Devil All the Time is a movie that you should definitely make time for. Trust me, this is very interesting and fascinating, and I love this film. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing The Devil All the Time. Now, if you guys are new here and you guys love movie reviews, rankings, and reactions, I talk all that good geeky content over here on a daily basis. So consider hitting that like and subscribe button as well as comment down below and let me know your guys' thoughts. How excited are you for this film? Have you guys been looking forward to it? I know I have, and I'm sure many of you guys have been as well. The Devil All the Time is about sinister characters converging around one young man devoted to protecting those he loves in a post-war backwoods town teeming with corruption and brutality this film was directed and written by antonio campos which i've never seen a film of his before i've heard he's a very interesting director and definitely you can tell from this one film in particular i want to dive back into the rest of his filmography but it also stars the likes of robert pattinson tom holland Haley bennett bill skarsgård sebastian sand riley keogh mia wasowski jason clark and oh my god the cast just keeps going on from there this is an all-star cast a great director that i can just tell from this film and i absolutely Absolutely love this film. This is not your typical type of movie. This is not your typical type of format. But it's a movie that is fascinating, that intrigues you and locks you into this world. And the whole entire time you're watching this movie, you're wondering what's going on. And when things start to click into place, you're like, this is brilliant. Of all the time, is one of my favorite films of this year. And I want to start with just downright the performances. Tom Holland, God. Give this guy more dramatic work. We've seen him in films like The Impossible from years ago, and he was great. And his dramatic work within the Spider-Man character is great as well. And I'm still looking forward to his performance in Cherry from, of course, the directors of Avengers Endgame and Infinity War and all that. But seeing what he did in this film makes me so excited to see what this guy does later down the road. I'm ready to say that I think this guy could be maybe even the next Leonardo DiCaprio. He is excellent in here. And seriously, his chops just outperforming here he you know when you see tom Holland, you're like hey it's uh, peter barker right there not in this role he's dark and he has a lot to do in this film and really centering this film around and the way that the story structure brings you about to understand this kid is you know a little bit slow and meandering at first but once you get going you really understand this guy and everything he's kind of been through and that could be a risk we won't love the meandering type of story that they had in here because it really has a prologue an epilogue and in general the whole story in the middle and I love what Antonio Campos was able to direct inside this film and again write no Tom Holland does give that fascinating and incredible incredible performance in here and probably one of my favorites of the year so far it's the all-star cast around him that really mixes it up and shakes it up that elevates his performance and again the whole story to another level Robert Pattinson great chameleonizes once again into a role there's only a couple actors that I think really does that and one of the producers of this film Jake Gyllenhaal is one of those actors that does that and Robert Pattinson is just getting to that level moving through this Haley Bennett is great Bill Skarsgård Sebastian Stan Riley Keogh and Jason Clark all give excellent performances in here and really again all settle in because when we see films like this you see an actor or an actress you're like hey I know who that is hey I know who that is but as the film settles in you forget that it's that actor and actress and you get sucked into the atmosphere of this film which again goes right back to the directing and writing in here which again sucks you into this film and continuously will make you not want to stop the film it'll make you want to sit there and linger in every single moment definitely a film I'm going to contemplate for quite a while I in fact will even want to pick up the book now because there's so many different meanings between this film, the revolving cycle of certain elements that happen in here, and in general, the title The Devil All the Time has a very interesting way of segueing itself into what it means inside this film. And there's this awesome narrator throughout the whole entire story that really sinks you in and dives you deeper into this film that, again, maybe is kind of feeling like you're reading a book, but in a sense makes you be placed inside the book and you feel like you are understanding every single layer of what this character is going through. With it, it centers on Arvin Russell's character played by Tom Holland is just superb you really come to understand what he is going through and why he is doing the things he must do to protect the people he loves you see all the devilish and sinister acts going about him and what would push him to really care about his loved ones so much including all this is the production design the cinematography all that truly mixes in and that makes for an atmospheric psychological crime drama that makes you not want to pull your eyes away from the screen 
I loved this movie. And I think the only tidbit of the film that I maybe would have changed is the score. The score does feel a little bit repetitive. And I think at that moment, that was the one thing that kept sucking me out of it. And maybe it's supposed to go to the whole storyline in general. But this is a brutal, gritty film that is not going to be for everyone. There are moments in here where I did have to maybe turn my eyes a bit because it was tough to watch. It's brutal. But it doesn't shine away from that because this is our world. This is our society. And there are sinners or people out there in the world that you will run into that do these type of things and I love that you can truly relate to Arvin Russell's character and every single person around him again elevates Tom Holland's performance but Tom Holland is the show stopping performance in here this is an all star movie that I hope many of you guys get to check out I don't think it's going to be for everyone again it is brutal it is gritty and it's definitely again tough to watch at times but I think once you understand and really get into the nitty gritty of what this film is about it'll hook you in it'll sink you in and you won't want to let go of this film and it'll definitely be one of your favorites as well so with all that said i'm gonna give the devil all the time an a minus thank you guys again so much for clicking on this you guys are seriously all the best i hope you guys do enjoy this review as well as head on over to sandwich on films on how to see films really and of course it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my patreon supporters because without you i wouldn't be able to do this guys let me know as well who your favorite star of this film is personally for me i love robert Pattinson. he's gonna be the next batman so that's kind of my guilty thing in there but really the whole cast is great in here and i can't wait to hear your guys thoughts so again thank you guys so much and of course until next time Stay classy.